Okay, can everybody hear me? Let me know. I'm back. <clears throat> okay, great. Welcome, everyone. Today's webinar is about how to trade in the side of institutional money. My favorite topic. And my name is Melissa Armo, and I own the Stock Swoosh. So that is my company, and today we're going to talk about trading. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. And of course, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. It's a good day today. Nice day today, okay? So how do you make money in the market? Those of you that are thinking about doing it or want to do it, <laughs> you have to have a strategy that wins more than it loses. Okay, so that is basically what? It's consistency, okay? So you could, you could trade and anybody could have a win one day, but how do you do it day after day after day after day? Trade after trade after trade after trade, okay? It's about the high number of wins that you need if you wanna do this for any length of time. Whether it's full-time, part-time, you really, 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 really have to know what you're doing if you want to trade and for me, specifically, my method, my system is about gaps, but it's about pinpointing the institutional buying and selling that happens in a gap. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Any questions? Kathy's here. If you need anything? And Kathy put my email in the room, please, for everybody. Okay. So a lot of times people email me and they have questions about how much money do you need to trade? Okay, first of all, I am not a broker. I have an educational business where I teach you my strategy. There are many different brokers out there. If you would like a referral, you can ask me, but all in all, there's so many different places that you can trade, many different places you could go, some with small amounts of money, some you need a lot of money to go to, some with margin and some without. It depends if you're day trading or it depends if you're doing options, okay? So really, anyone can do this. When you start to trade, let's say you have a small amount of money. Let's say you have $2,000 and you want to open up an options account. You could do that at a retail broker. Now, are you going to make $200,000 with an account with $2,000 in 30 days? No, you're not. You, you're not going to. Now, one of the biggest uh, trades and stocks and gaps of the year was Tesla. We're not going to talk about that today. When I have time, Sometime I'm going to make a whole PowerPoint class just on Tesla. But all the trades are called in Tesla, but the very last one worked. You have, if you had $2,000, you could have made a lot of money with Tesla, Tesla, but that was an anomaly, okay? And you still wouldn't have made $200,000 with $2,000 in a month, even if, even if you took all the trades, which you couldn't have because you would have only had $2,000. So I think when people decide they want to trade, they have this, 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 Im this image, this, this fantasy image in their mind that they need to shift into reality. When I say reality, reality doesn't have to be something that's bad or depressing or makes you sad or makes you not want to do it. Reality, in fact, can be very amazing once you get grounded, okay? So when I say reality, I don't mean something that's depressing. I mean something that's grounded in real life, something that you can truly accomplish over time. Now, could you grow a 2,000 uh, starter account into 200,000? Yes, but not in 30 days. And a lot of places out there are, are espousing different kinds of crazy things and methods of trade and things to do that really are not consistent, that don't work, and then people feel upset and angry and mad at the market or even upset with people that teach classes or have subscription services like I do with the stock swoosh. I teach people how to do what I do and the amount of money that each individual risks when they come to me should be based on their cash risk. And people need to grow their accounts if they don't have a lot of money. You don't need a lot of money to trade my system, but you do need some money and your risk has to be in accordance with the amount of cash you have doesn't matter if a broker is giving you leverage. If they give you 101 to leverage and you only have $2,000, you still only have $2,000. So you can't risk $2,000 in one trade or you'll have no money in the account if that trade fails. 
And although I have a great system, which I do, it's a very high win ratio. Right now it's over 80, 85% 20, for 2020 because I'm really on fire this year. But all in all, you have to account for the fact that of every 10 trades that I call, two or three, depending on whatever month it is of the year, depending on how many trades we're getting, could fail. So that's still a very high win ratio. But once you get grounded in reality, your dreams can come true. And there's a difference between fantasy and dreams. So everyone's dream of becoming a successful trader is something that is realistic and can happen with the right foundation. And for me, the foundation is GAPS. One of the calls today, which we're going to talk about, was a short in Twitter. It was a great read, great read on that chart, especially after the earnings, which we didn't do it last week on the earnings. And I didn't like it. And today, my confirmation of the conviction I had in it to the downside uh, came true. But anyways, the system is what keeps me grounded. The system keeps me grounded. The analysis I do in the pre-market before we even do any positions at all is what keeps me grounded as a trader. And when you're trading, you do have to be grounded because you're making decisions about money. And sometimes you have to make fast decisions about money. So open your mind today to learn something. I recognize some of your faces here. Some of you are new and Didi, Didi's a student, say Didi here. So, you know, hopefully you'll take away something here from today's lecture. I'm gonna talk for about 45 minutes, an hour, wherever we go. And if you have questions, you can ask me and, um, and you're welcome to come this week. I'm going to be doing an open house. So you can email me if you want the information. I'm gonna do a free open house for the trading room, which will start tomorrow, Tuesday through Friday. So just so you know, I call the live day trades in the room, but I don't call the options trades. We might go over questions there, but the options trades are on a newsletter, okay? But you're welcome to come to the open house if you want to. So let's get started. If you continue doing the same action, say you've been trading in the past, then you can only expect the same results. So this is important. And a lot of times people hit a wall. That wall is that they hit the wall and they're trying to do the same thing and it's not working and they don't understand why they're not getting anywhere. Well, obviously it's common sense, but sometimes when you're caught up in the moment of a personal problem or issue, whether it's, it's specifically trading we're talking about right now, it's hard to look at yourself and take a step back, but sometimes you need to do that. And I find the beginning of the year is a good time to do that. Jan people say January New Year's resolutions. Yes, that's true. But it's really still very, 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 very early on in 2020. So you have plenty of time to change what you're doing or uh, you know, have a different resolution for this year. If you want different results in your trading and your life, then change is required. And not only that, it's really necessary. If you want to be more successful in the market and in life, then learn a trading system that will bring about the financial results you've been looking for. And one of, the, one of the key pieces to what I do, which we're going to talk about today, which is institutional money, it all plays on the same factors, momentum, volume, all these things go together because institutional money, and when I say that, I mean banks, hedge funds, big traders in the market, trade with big size, lots of money, and they move stocks and they move them in a big way, which is what when I say momentum, I mean big moves. But it's not too late for this year to... Do something different. Change what you're doing, and the sooner the better, because obviously it's early in the year. You could still have a huge year this year. Huge, if you want to, if you want to get on the right track. And I'm seeing some people come in. You missed the beginning, just but just so you know, I'm taping this. Anyways, one of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success is consistency. It's just such a big key factor in what I do, and I find that many people are not consistent. When I talk to people over and over and over again, it's just something that's such a common thread in people's failure at trading. Without this, it is hard to stay in the market for any length of time. In order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts. If you've been dreaming of being successful in the market for years, but the success has eluded you, stop and consider why. It's time to elevate yourself and your trading to a new level. This requires a deeper understanding and a better comprehension and an overall wider perspective of what makes individual success possible for a trader investor in the stock market. Making over 200,000, and that's just a number. I could have said 100,000, I could have said 200,000, I could have said a half a million dollars a year. One of the traders has made over $300,000 and it's six weeks into the year, not even four weeks or five weeks or whatever. So that is a number. That number that I'm saying has to do with your risk per trade, okay? Your risk per trade. So that number, when you get good, 
can be bigger if you're risking more. But you can't do that until you understand what to do, until you know what to do, until you know the system. You can't take $500 and make it 1000 unless you know what to do. Because it's not just about the one trade. It's about, like I said, week after week and month after month, okay? Anyways, making over $200,000 a year as a trader is not impossible. However, it can be challenging for many, many people to make this kind of money trading or any kind of money trading because they lack a good system, okay? So think about this. Think about what you're doing. If you're not seeing the success you want, then you need to change what you're doing. And I can't stress this enough. So many people are in ruts. And you can wait. You can, you can reach out to me now. You can learn what I know this month. You can wait till the summer. You can wait till 2021. You know, I don't know how many years I will continue to operate the stock swoosh, but for now, I've been able to handle doing television and the business and trading and doing it all. I don't know how long that will last. I can't say for sure if I'll be here 10 years from now, but I definitely have something special. And uh, this year, more so than ever, has my talents and skills really come to, to, to fruition for me and the people that are with me. So it's about following institutional money. And becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist. So that's what I, that's what I consider myself. I say an expert when I go on TV, but it's really, I'm good. I was talking to, I'll, I'll tell you a story. I went to Fashion Week, I've been going to different events. I went to Fashion Week on Saturday night and went to show with a girl that I just got to be friends with. She's here in New York. She's a big influencer. She has like 1.4 million followers. And it was funny because we're talking to each other and I'm like, how do you make money? You know? This influencer stuff, it's its new to me. I'm learning more about it. And then she said, well, well, what do you do? <laughs> so we didn't really know each, what each other did. And the best way for me, and again, she doesn't know anything about the stock market. So the best way that I, uh, the way that I found to describe it to, to her, she's a regular girl. And I said, you know what I do? I said, I can, pr I can predict where stock's going to go before it goes there. I said, that's really what I do. And that was a very good way to explain what I do because that's really what I do and that's how you can make money so that's what I teach in the class that's what we do in the room in the morning that's what I do with the options calls so when I when I said this to her I thought gosh you know that really is what I do and so when I when I meet people and I and I sometimes I think I get too technical because I'm talking to traders or prospective clients all the time or, or current clients I, I can I said I, I can tell where a stock's gonna go before it goes there and that's the gist of it. And how do I how do I do it? She said, "Well, I look at a chart." And so that again is where the analysis is required. So when you look at a chart, what is it? It's technical analysis. So it's advanced technical analysis in gaps. And what does it mean? It means reading price action. I can tell if something's going to go higher before it does, like Amazon, and I can tell something's going to go lower before it does, like Twitter. So comprehending how to read, define, and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. So this is a good way to think of it too, again in layman's terms. The footprints of institutional money. Well, how do you know that, that whoever is buying Twitter is a trader or just regular traders? Or how do you know it's a big bank? A big big position like how do you know that well this is what I would teach you okay so we're gonna look at Amazon here just because this was such a fantastic call uh, Amazon for those of you that don't know had earnings last week uh, what day was that was it Wednesday night into Thursday what is today or was it Monday no I think it was no what day was it I don't even know whatever day this is whatever day this was here Maybe it was two weeks ago. Yeah. Here was the Amazon. Stock closed here, gapped up. I didn't call any trades in this at all here. It fell. So we didn't do a thing here in this Amazon. Now, I looked at it. The stock did gap up. The stock closed here at 1870, gapped up here to like 2050. It was a big gap up, even for this stock. But then it fell. And then it fell again the next day. Then here on the 4th, this was Tuesday, I guess, last week. I called the calls in this, and the stock moved higher. It had a big move on Friday, and then it had an even bigger move here today. I called the 20, 40 calls on this day, and it ran up, okay? So this is institutional buying. How do I know? Well, let's see. From before the earnings, the stock was at 1870, and today the high was around 2133. So that's a big move. 
even from here, from the day that I called the trade here, 2050, it's gone almost 100 points, okay? Or 2030 on that day. So institutional money is committed. It comes in, it scoops it up if it's a long, or it sells it off or shorts it and pushes it down if it's a short, okay? But it is a commitment because institutional money, and I'm gonna go back to this chart here, down here is the volume, but anyways, you wouldn't have a bar that looks like this today at this price point, particularly. Okay, Amazon is very expensive. Over $2,100 a share now, you, you would have to have institutional money that would be buying this. So you don't have a lot of regular traders buying this. Some, some of the did the calls I call, but mostly you get a move like this from institutional money. So commitment has a plan of action. Now, we look at price, that's what I do. I look at the gap and I look at the price and I analyze it using a rating system. But people that are institutional traders or big, big, big traders, they look at many other factors. They will look at news, they will look at fundamentals, they will, they will buy research reports that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, things that we don't have access to as individuals. And they will make choices to buy Amazon based on many, many things that we don't know anything about. I don't need to know those things. All I need to know is that I see that Amazon gapped up and I see what it's doing and I see that the gap rates per my system, per the 26 point system as a long and then I call the trade, okay? So if you learn how to read the footprints of where these big position players are gonna go before the momentum occurs, like obviously everyone saw Amazon break out today, they saw it break out on Friday, but we were in it a week ago, okay? So if you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, you can take the position in the right direction and then get out after the move happens for profit. So you could have got out of Amazon Friday or you could have held it into today. Your choice, because we had such a good entry. So I pride myself on having really good entries and good picks. Whether you get out early Get out in the middle or hold longer. It's totally, totally up to you, okay? But you have to understand how to train with the side of the power. And you need to have to find it. And it's very important to find it because this power has the ability to pay you without working very hard. So this doesn't mean every trade that I call goes immediately. Some trades take a little bit of time. Sometimes in the morning we take a trade. It pitters off for a while and it takes about an hour. It takes a half an hour. Sometimes they go very quickly. Sometimes I call an option, sometimes it doesn't go that day, sometimes it's down, it takes two days, okay? So the market will do what it's gonna do, but you have to be in the right stuff, and you know, have to know how to read what the institutional money looks like. It's essential to become a successful trader. You can win big trading on this side of the power, and this is where the groundedness in the reality that I was discussing earlier really, really is important. So a big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market, it's what moves stocks. It creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You wanna be on the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. You are not gonna move Amazon. If you're short Amazon, if you were short Amazon from the earnings, you got creamed on Friday and killed to death, okay? So the reality is it's easy to make money if you're on the right, wrong, right side, and, and if you're on the wrong side, there's no way you will make money, okay? And institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. Now, here was a nice short from Friday, carried through, followed through today. This was T2. So again, what do I look at? I look at gaps. The stock closed here the night before around 127 and change, boom. Gap down here around 116. This was earnings, open, rallied. We did a nice short on this Friday. It was a short, it was a gap down, and then it was a short today, boom, fell, okay? So the stock ticker symbol for this one is T2. This was a short. You could have shorted it in the day trade room with me or you could have done a put. Any questions here so far? But what I do is I'm looking for institutional money. I'm looking for the power money, okay? And that's what I teach people how to do. And that's how I call all of the trades that I call. I literally don't do anything other than this. So this one specific strategy I do, you can use it to do options, you can use it to day trade, but either way, every trade I call is based on the gap. It's based on the gap analysis of looking at institutional money, okay? So if, if you're here because you wanna learn something new, great, okay? You will not learn my system unless you take my class. My class is February 29th and March 1st. It's in three weeks. 
I teach the class usually once a, once a month. In order to join the live trading room, you must do my class. Now the options newsletter, you do not have to do any classes. You can sign up for that and get the options trades, but you will do better on the newsletter if you've done the class as well. The woman that I was talking to you about who's made over 300 grand so far this year, she has done the class, she's done all my classes, she's on the newsletter and in the room, okay? She actually held Amazon through today, which was huge. So, I mean, long story short, understanding how to do something and learning how to do it, it really helps you trade better. But you can sign up for the options newsletter that I offer without learning the system, okay? But it's just gaps. That's the number one thing I do. I don't do anything else. I don't buy pullbacks. I, 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 I'm not doing any of this other crazy stuff that people are talking about, the Fibonacci's, this, that, and the other. I'm not buying stocks on the eight pair moving average. I mean, there's so many different things. I don't do gap fills. I mean, there's so many things that people are out there that they call a strategy that really aren't a strategy. I don't look at any of that. I only do my own system. It's a system that I created. It's one of the reasons I have a high level of conviction in it, number one. And number two, I've been doing it now for 12 years. 12 years may not seem like a long time, but actually 12 years doing the same thing is a long time. And most people can't say that. Most people that have been training in the market for 12 years, 10 years, 20 years, have done many, 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 many different kinds of things. Some guy, some guy emailed me the other day, he was trying to pitch me to, to do crypto. I said, no, I have no interest in it. No interest whatsoever at all. Why do I have to do anything else? If you want to make more money and you learn what I do, you just add more size. That's it, okay? So my system is called Golden Gap. So let's talk about the basics. What is a gap? A stock gap to the opening price today is a different than the closing price of yesterday's training. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Simple, okay? So this T2 had two gaps in it here recently. Stock closed here at four o'clock and 9.30 opened down at a different price. Stock closed here at four o'clock on Friday, Monday opened here at a different price. That's it, that's a gap. What's a gap up? This was a gap up over here. Stock closed here, this is last week, gapped up, okay? So all a gap is, it means it closes at one price and opens at a different price. Closes at one price, opens at a different price. So almost everything, actually, when you think about it, gaps daily. Because many, many, many things, including the market, do open at a different price than they closed. So then you say, well, how do you know which gaps are good? Or how do you know which gaps are predictable that you can predict the direction? That's why I created my system, where I get up in the morning in the pre-market and I look at something like T2 or Amazon or whatever we're looking at, and then I try to determine, based on my system, is this going to go sell up or is it going to rally, okay? And then I know, before the open, what I want to do with it, shorter to go long it, depending on whatever we're looking at. But Golden Gaps have huge opportunity because they spot the power, the power that's going to come in and take hold of the stock and move it, okay? Move it with volume, have the big moves, and that's how you make money. So how do I find Golden Gaps? I scan in the morning, I make a watch list, I go through all of my points on a worksheet checklist every morning, I never skip it. So I've been doing this since I created this system, like I said. It's been over 10 years. I never skip it. I rate everything in the morning. I'm up early. At least, at least an hour before the open, but usually I start rating about 7, 7.30 a.m., okay? So I find the gaps, and I usually always go to the shorts first because I prefer to short for the day trades. Then I rate them using the checklist, and then it tells me what to look for in the rating system, okay? Then I total the points. So it's 26 points, so I'm looking for 20 points or more to do it in the direction of the gap. So if I rate a gap and it rates 21 points and it's gapping down like T2, then I know I'm gonna watch T2 to short. I still don't take the trades until after the open. Okay, I'm not doing anything in the pre-market. Any questions here so far? So there is one thing and only one thing that can move the direction of a stock. It is money and it's not a little bit of money. It's not a day trade room. It's a lot of money. It's, it's what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of this market. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. I had another good read on the market too. I did a video late, late uh, Friday night. I just put it up uh, about an hour or two hours ago. I forgot to put it up, but I did it Friday night because I had a spot on I-24 News. The market I knew, I knew was higher. I knew it was higher last week and it was. That was a really good read. The, the power money that's in the market right now, I'm talking about the general market, but I talk, you can call it the SPY, okay? 
is, is has just taken a hold of this market. You're, if you're shorting this market, you are losing. There are no shorts to be in this market. I'm talking about the market indices. I'm talking about the SPY. I'm talking about the QQQs. So trends are set at move with the power of money people, of which there is a lot of in the market, okay? So me, I look at gaps. That's how I've been reading the market as well. Gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. Every day, pretty much for the most part. Sometimes there's a day we don't, we don't have anything good and then we don't trade. But right now, it's earnings season. There's a lot of gaps, okay? However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are nothing gaps and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. Either way, understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when a change is occurring. And that is how you know when the power of money will, will flow to pay you. So if you said, Melissa, I want to come and do your class, what am I going to learn? You're going to learn the 26-point gap rating checklist. That checklist is going to tell you which gap to play or which stock to play on that day if you can short it or go long it. So you're going to learn how to, for example, rate T2 and know if T2, which is a gap down, is rateable, which it was, and if it was higher than 20 points, which it was, and if it was, which it was, then you could short it. You look for a setup to short it. And I teach the setups in the class as well. But I call the trades live in the room in the, in the morning. The key, though, to big profits is power money. Because, again, you know, Normal people can take a couple hundred shares, a couple thousand shares. Normal people, normal traders, are not taking 50,000 shares. So if you want to make 5,000 shares of something, can you? Yes. Or $5,000 in something, can you? Yes. You've got to get 5,000 shares, get a dollar move. That you could have done today on the Twitter call that I called. But then you say, okay, well, how could I do that on something else? Well, you might not have been something if it didn't move a buck. You had to get the good entry. You had to get the direction right. You had to put the stop at the right place, okay? And also, I will say this, your risk needs to be the same on almost every trade you take. Same risk. So if you want to risk 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, then that's what you're doing, okay? Any questions here so far? Let's go over the Twitter. Twitter was a nice move. I knew Twitter was lower. So Twitter closed here, gap down, fell. Called to put in the Twitter today. People could be out of it. People could still be in it. It was profitable from the moment I called it and the day trade. So this fell. Dee Dee, did you do the Twitter? I see you're in here. You were in the room this morning. Let me know if you did Twitter. Anyways, Twitter fell. Boom. Snug as a bug in a rug. Down in here. And a very nice move for the stock. And a very good stop. Now, I squished this together. This is the one-minute chart. Just to show you here, here's the open. Open rally. Dropped. Okay? And then we shorted the Twitter, got the drop, and actually, again, you could have been out of this into lunch, you could have been out of this into two o'clock, I thought was a good exit. It had almost a buck, went into the afternoon, a nice move and really never looked back from the price that we took it. So the uh, entry in the Twitter was 36.52, stop was 36.75. So big size in this for the share quantity because again, I usually, have my trades about 2,000, 2,500 risk. I've been upping it a little bit more to 2,500 this year. Anyways, stop 36.75. So if this had stopped out, would have been stopped. And again, in a stock like Twitter, you can take 10,000 shares. You can take more. Exit 35.75. I think the low of the day was 35.60 or something like that. It it, it, it just kind of ran out of mojo late in the afternoon. It was a long trade, but it was a really nice trade. Profit, 7,700, okay? Now, when you're doing trades, you can get in and get out quickly in the morning. I'm going to go back to this. You could have done it and just taken it out, boom, when it fell. You could have just taken it out and made 50 cents, got out at 36, or you can hold it down. Now, I don't move my stops, but you could have moved your stop down if you wanted to be tight with it since it took a while to go. But it never went anywhere near the original price of the entry. And here I'm going to go back to the daily. Here was the Twitter. Close near the lows. Okay. Any questions so far on the Twitter? Any questions from anyone? 
Um, there was one more thing I was going to say. Uh, I forget. I was going to say something else about the Twitter. Anyways, if I think of it, I'll let you know. Think intellectually about what you're doing. Think, 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 think. Okay, when you're when you're getting into this and when you're doing this and when you wanna when you want to take trades, you you have to know what you want to do. So like in my mind, I either like something or I don't like something, and I'm either gonna watch something or I'm not watching anything. So like I really think everything through when I'm trading, and mostly make the decisions in the pre-market. So the Golden Gap 26 point rating system pinpoints the direction of money and power money by rating price action. Now, this is a good example here of selling. Again, the T2. Stock closed up here. Again, top to the tail from Friday from the high in here was 117.50 and change. And low today was 109. So this stock dropped huge in two days. So this is selling. That's what selling looks like. That's institutional selling. That's what we got the moves. And this is what buying looks like. This is Amazon. Beautiful move, brand new all-time highs, big fat bars, breaking out. This could even be higher. In fact, let me just look right now. Let's just see, let's just see where this stock is. I'm gonna pull this up right now um, to see where this puppy is. Well, it's kind of just flat here. I'll just show you. I just wondered if this was up at all tonight. I mean, I would not be surprised. Again, I, I think this was a great exit today. I think it was a great exit Friday. But I, I wouldn't be shocked at all. 2135, 27 was a high today. I would be shocked if this goes to 2150 tomorrow. I, I just wouldn't be. Could happen in a gap up. It could just run up there. I don't know. But, I mean, again, this was a nice call. And if you're still in this trade, then you're... The possibility is you could give back some profits if it doesn't continue a third day, but this could, this could really, this is really getting a big, huge move. <laughs> so, and that is part of the lift um, that you've seen in the market as well. Okay, any questions? So the most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action. Again, that's how I do what I do. It's understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market. It's going to help you become profitable. Reading power of money when it's up will help give you conviction to trade. Seeing when and where the power of money positions are getting in is like finding a gold mine. And that's really how I came up with the name The Golden Gaps because it predicts the power before the power takes hold of it and moves it. Because again, you don't want to chase something. I never do that. Seeing gaps clearly and how they're creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum is a very powerful way to trade for you as an individual. In fact, it's the only way that you can really become wealthy trading the market because you're, you, 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 like I said earlier, you can't take some small, small amount of money and make some absurd amount of money in, in a short period of time, okay? People say you can, but you can't. As good as I am, I can't take $500 and make 100 grand in a month. That, and, for, and if you believe that stuff, you're living in la-la land, okay? And I, I know that everyone's impatient. I know everyone makes a, wants to make a lot of money right away. And a lot of times when people come to me, very honest with them, they've been losing for years, years. They've lost tons of money in the market and maybe paid for classes and didn't learn how to train. So they try to make, they want to make up all the money that they can have, that they've ever lost from the market or classes or trading all back as quickly as they can. You should not think like that. If you've lost money in the market, then you need to let it go. If you pay for classes and didn't get something from it, you need to let it go. Today is the first day of your trading career. When you come to me, if you do, when you do the class with me, and that's how you need to look at it. You can't go back. And if you're chasing your tail, trying to go back and make up and make back and make back and make back, you're going to be chasing your tail and you're never going to get ahead. You need to open up your perspective and say, I'm going to do this something new and I'm going to change what I'm doing and today is the first day, okay? It's the best way to look at it. When you're chasing your tail, you're never going to get ahead. So think about what I've said. But when I press the button, I have 100% conviction. All right. And I know what I'm looking for. And again, if part of it is doing this for a long, long time. But I think the conviction that I have when I trade, it really helps me make money. The calls I made in Tesla, I did them without even barely thinking. I had such high conviction 
that I just knew. It's called a knowing. You can call it intuition, you can call it whatever you want. How are you gonna gain that intuition? Doing the same thing consistently over and over and over and over and over for days and weeks and months and years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and that's how you get good. It's like a golfer, like Tiger Woods. Well, Tiger Woods is a great golfer. I don't know how many hours a day he practices. I don't know if he golfs seven days a week, but he, he very well might. So, you know, the more you do something, the better you get. And a good, a good example of that really is sports, because if you want to be good in any sport, tennis, golf, anything, you have to practice a lot. The Olympics are this summer. You, you got it. You got it. In order to get to the Olympics, you got to be really good. And even if you're really good, that may not be enough because a lot of other people are really good too. Okay? So think about it. You don't want to go with a crowd of day traders. You want to put yourself apart, separate from them because most day traders are losing. It's one of the reasons I have the trading room closed off. People very easily will go be negative. But, you know, when you're in your own world, you can control the things that you think and the choices that you make. And you don't allow negativity to come into your viewpoint. Now, here was the T2. Um, actually, this was the T2 from, was this Friday's T2? Yeah, this was the Friday's T2, um, of, and though I did call it today. But stock closed here, gap down. Open, rally, dropped. <clears throat> okay. Nice short here in the T2, got the drop. And again, the T2 kept going. Kept going and going and going and going and going. So for me, my edge is finding the gap, and my edge is also reading this chart. This is a one-minute chart. So this is the close of Friday the night before at 4 o'clock. Here's 9.30. Here's the open. And if you come to the open house this week, I would just watch because I call trades very fast on a one-minute chart. That gives me an edge. And the reason I can do it is because I already know what I like from looking at it and deciding what stock I want to watch in the pre-market before the market opens. Okay? And you can look at stuff sometimes at night. But there are setups that happen all the time in golden gaps. All throughout the day, I prefer to do the ones, though, in the morning. So, again, Amazon, here was the trade. I called the Amazon 2040s on February 4th around 10 o'clock. I called them out long, so they were a bit pricey for the end of this Friday because I knew it would break out. I didn't know for sure if it would happen by last week, but I knew it was going to happen soon, soon, meaning within the time I made the call. They would have been a lot cheaper if I'd done them for the Friday. But anyways, this was still cheap when you look at where it went Friday and today. Cost was 27 bucks for one. So say you bought one and sold it for 60, you still would have made over 100% return investment. Three here, which is an advanced risk, you would have made 9,900, risking 8,100. This is taking it on this day here. I'm gonna go back, the fourth. The day that I called it and getting out here. And we're, this went this went huge today. This just went to some ridiculous number today. I didn't even look at it, but I know I'm, I'm like 100% that it went over 100. And to even see some of those things, which is very interesting. The Tesla calls, some of them were worth over 100. Um, some of them were worth over 300 at one point. This, I mean, I've just had some huge calls this year. So to have, a, to have an option trade be, end up going to be worth more than 100, more than 200 is phenomenal. So this was a nice, nice move in this stock. But I, I knew it was going to do it. I knew it was going to do it. And when, you're, when you do an option, you got to get the timing right. So I didn't know 100% it would go by last Friday, but I knew it was like, I felt like it's soon. Soon could be sometimes a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a couple of days. As soon as soon, as soon when, I, when I know it. Any questions here so far? So earning power is, comes from what? It's you. People say, oh, I don't, know, I don't have a lot of money. How can I do it? Well, you know what? You can take a little bit of money and make it a lot if you know what to do. Not in some crazy fantasy world, but you absolutely could take your money and double it in a, in a fairly good period of time. That's what people have done this year, okay? You could take a $5,000 account and make it 10. You could take a $10,000 account and make it 20. So knowing what to do means you've got the power. You've got the earning power to make it. That is better than having a lot because if you have a lot and you risk it in the market and you don't know what to do, you're going to lose the lot you have. If you have $200,000 and you don't know what to do, you're going to lose it all. I don't know when, but you will if you don't know what to do. And if you have, like I said, $2,000, you won't lose that and you'll make more and you can grow it if you have the knowledge. So the knowledge and learning is key. I stress this so much with people. 
But I know everybody just wants to take the trades and make money. You can sign up for the options newsletter if you want to do that. If you have no interest in learning, then just sign up for the options newsletter. But learning is key. And I do think it's important because I will not be doing this forever. Okay, so if I disappear, then how are you gonna know what I know if I disappear to ever continue to trade? So that's why really understanding it is very important for you for the long haul. But if you want to consistently make a lot of money in the market, the only way that's gonna happen is if you're trading on the side of institutional money because you as one individual can't take 100,000 shares of a stock. But the profits come very quickly. Most times, I say within 24, 48 hours of the time I call an option, and within five, 10, 15 minutes, a half an hour of the time I call the day trades. But you can do this from home if it's something you wanna do. And like I said, I teach a class. So the class is the end of the month. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26 point system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. Now, what if you're new? You don't have a clue. You never traded before and you don't know anything at all. That's okay. I go over some basic things at the beginning in the morning and the first day of the class and you can always call me and ask me if you have questions. I will say that people that come to me, even have been trading a long time, it's new to them too. What I do is new to them. It's new to them. So don't worry about it. You'll get over it. You'll learn. That's part of the process of, of trading. Okay. You're learning new things. So in the class, I teach one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power and charts. I teach how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. Like Amazon was not as short. Amazon was a good long. It teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis and gaps. And it teaches how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth by trading with the side of power for consistent profit. Any questions here? Trading is about chunking it out. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. Take the trade, get out. Take Twitter, get out. Take Amazon, get out. Take T2, get out, okay? And you book it. Book the money. Book it, book it, book it. Okay, I'll call another trade. Sometimes you end up holding something huge like Amazon, but if you got out, like I said last week, that was fine. The Tesla ones, everybody made a lot of money just because. And even they kept going, which was insane. But, you know, your goal is to get the right pick if you come with me and the right entry, read the directional bias correct, get the good gap. And we, I teach targets in the class, but sometimes things do surpass even what I expect them to do. And uh, it's exciting to me. It's exciting to see moves like stocks in Amazon. It's exciting to finally see some follow through in some things in this market, okay? So empower yourself to trade. If you're interested, my class, like I said, is a full two day course on how to strategically find, pick and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. The class is February 29th and March 1st, nine to five, Saturday and Sunday. The cost is 69.99 US dollars. If you want to sign up, you must email me for the forums at melissa at the stockswish.com. Now, I'm doing an options newsletter special. If you just want to do the options, okay, until Valentine's Day, which is Friday, offer ends Friday at midnight, $49.99 for the letter to the end of the year and the gap options course, which is a half day course. So you will not learn how I make the picks in this class. Just so you know, this is only a half day course from 11 to 2 or 3, wherever we go to. This is Monday the 24th. So you get this class and the newsletter at the end of the year. This is a good deal. Normally the newsletter is $59.99 for the year and the class is $2,500, okay? If you wanna sign up for this, email me. Any questions from anyone about anything so far that we went over today? Any stocks, any picks, anything? Dee Dee, how are you doing? I asked you a question earlier, I didn't hear anything from you. Again, I recognize some familiar faces, I don't know. Some of you have been following me for a long time. Some of you have been following me as long as I've had the business. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> I'm I'm almost getting Kathy to trade here if her husband would let her. But I don't think he will. <laughs> but any questions from anyone about anything? Listen, email me here if you think of anything. Kathy, if Dale can do it, you can do it. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in the open house this week, email me too. It's really about believing in yourself. You know, if, if, you, if you believe in yourself, 
okay? I believe that you can do this. Of course, you have to listen to what I say as well. But I know, I know not everybody comes out in the first class they take or the first year that they trade, do they make money? That's the, that's the name of the game, okay? There's a lot of people that want to do this and you will have uh, things that you go through and hardships. But like I said, you got to keep moving forward. You can't look back. So my suggestion is if you have questions, call me, email me. It's been a great year to participate in my program, absolutely for sure. Success is within your grasp. And if you want to try, like I said this week, or to come to the open house, email me at info the stockswish.com or melissa at the stockswish.com. Didi, you have a dental appointment? Okay. Didi, did you do Amazon? I know, Didi, you did the Teslas. There were so many trades in Tesla. It's for me to do a PowerPoint on them, it's going to take like a, an entire day or an entire weekend. I just haven't made the time. I really need to, though, because it's such a great example talking about institutional money of in a chart. It's just, it's a, it's a great, it's a great example of so many, so many different things that I teach, but there were just so, there were so many trades in it. It's a lot to put all in, in a, in a PowerPoint. Any questions from any of the new people? Any questions from any of the old people? I'm here with you now. We're done early. If you want to go over anything. I see Dee Dee's typing. So it's been an interesting start to the year. <laughs> I will say that. Unexpected, unexpectedly, uh, pleasantly, very good. So I'm just, sometimes you surprise yourself. I mean, I think that's, that's what it comes to. Be, be realistic and grounded, and life will sometimes surpass your expectations. And I think that, you know, we've seen that this year. Email me if you have questions, okay? And uh, thanks for having me, Kathy. Kathy's in charge tomorrow at the open house. Very good. All right, have a great night, everyone. Email me if you're interested in the class or give me a call. Okay? And again, here's a Valentine's Day special for the newsletter. Ends Friday. This is a great deal. And, um, and here's the class information. Thank you. Have a good night.